fared much better at fast pitch softball. My most memorable ball game was on a hot Memorial Day afternoon, pitching a game that went 13 innings when it was scheduled for only seven. The tie could not be broken. It was the bottom of the 13th. A runner on third base, two men out, and I forced the batter to hit a high pop fly to left field. A certain catch, I thought. It went right through the hands of my left fielder. The run scored, the game was lost. Brethren, for 38 years, I've reminded my friend and teased him about dropping that ball. <laughs> I promised I would never do so again. In fact, I'm not going to mention to you his name tonight. <laughs> but he lives in Brigham City. <laughs> and his initials are J.H. And he's my age. But it was only a game. On another occasion, I was pitching a softball game in Pioneer Park in Salt Lake City. To my amazement, the opposing team placed at the batter's box a batter who had but one arm. Now how does a self-appointed hotshot fastball pitcher hurl the ball to a batter with one arm? I tossed a gentle lob over the plate. To my amazement, Bernal Hales, that one-armed batter, swung that bat with skill and hit a single right over the second baseman's head. I was furious. I waited for the next batter, Homer Proctor, returned missionary from Mexico, six foot two, 190 pounds. I gave him a high inside fastball and he put it right out of Pioneer Park for a home run. I looked at the ball as it sailed over 3rd South Street, and then I looked at that one-armed runner, smiling all the way as he ran from first base to second base, and then third, and then streaked for home. I felt like crying, but then I broke out laughing. And pretty soon, all of the players on both teams began to laugh with me, and we had a wonderful time. Brethren, let's take the necessary steps to re-